welcome back to Sale of the Century. Our carryover champion, Nigel Hotham, prison warder from Elizabeth, South Australia, has won prizes to the value of $290,000. How do you feel, Nigel? Well, I suppose it's all right. Good one, Nigel. Mind you, it did take seven nights out of my life. I would have been happier with just five nights. Not that I'm whinging like. Good, Nigel. And what do our challenges take away, Delhi? <laughs> less than Nigel, Tony. <laughs> they get this gross little diamond-studded lapel badge. Don't I get one? But you're the winner, Nigel. <laughs> hmm. Just seems a bit unfair that the loser gets something that the winner doesn't. Still, if that's the way you do things in this country, it's not for me. Let's go me. shopping, Nigel. Have I got to walk all the way up there? What's Nigel won, Delhi? Got a step as well. One of your many prizes, Nigel, is this beautiful Aquafun in-ground pool, valued at eight thousand dollars. <laughs> Now, what am I going to do with a swimming pool? I've got three kids. How am I going to keep it clean with them around doing dribbles and worse in it? And as for the water rates, well, I don't well, know Well, over here, pick... Nigel, is $16,000 worth of new kitchen with the compliments of... Kitchen? Oh, thanks very much. I won the game and you give the wife a prize. I mean, I answered the question. She's flat out answering the phone and well, she... Well, what was... about these, Nigel? The cars of the century. <laughs> Magnificent BMWs valued at $63,000. Now I'm down 20 bucks for a bleeding driver's license. Oh, you can always sell them. Oh, oh, sure, sure. Do you know how much these things depreciate when you drive them out of showroom? $63,000. I'd have trouble getting 61 for them. Well, what about your cash jackpot, Nigel? $170,000. Bull. Do you know what the Australian dollar's worth on the international market? <laughs> 70 cents American. I'm only looking at 120 grand there. Look, this show's rubbish. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Opportunity? You can't even go on compo without regular medical checks. <laughs> and I suppose a naughty with Delhi here would be out of the question. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> and another thing, the black pudding in this country is absolutely diabolical. <laughs> 